Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you back to episode 23 of Let's Play Secret of Mana Blind. And I took the liberty of uh, cutting back to the Fire Palace here, because I assume, or at least I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the next place we have to go. If I unlocked anything like back in the Ice Country by uh, defeating the Ice Palace, then I did not come across it on my way back. And uh, the only thing that happened of note on the way back is, um, I think Edge is... Undyne, his ma Undyne magic reached level 2. So uh, I can flash up a quick of that very quickly. Whoa, bam! There we go. But uh, now we're back here, and since we have Salamando's magic, we can probably proceed further if I remember. Yeah, this looks like the right place. End of the line? I don't think so. Not anymore, baby. Uh, first, we want to take these guys out, I guess, though. By the way, I want to thank uh, Pixcalibur123. Um. In the comments of the last video, he told me basically, like, with the magic, that I should be using the lower level magic, because I'll get more bang for my buck, essentially. And, uh, the higher level magic's not really worth it, despite how cool it looks, but... So I'll be sure to remember, remember that. And, uh, yeah, he's just been pretty good with the comments all around throughout this LP so far, so thanks to him. Definitely helping me through it. Wasn't that Salamando's orb that... I'll analyze it again, just to be sure, because... Let's see. I was pretty sure that's why I couldn't do this before. Yeah, Salamando's magic will work. Okay. Well, let's try Salamando's magic. I, I thought I'd just tried the fireball. Maybe it's not that easy. Lava wave? One of these has got to work, I tell you. And it's not that one. Okay, um... Exploder? Do I have to ex des destroy it? Destroy it internally. Oh, his magic skill up too. Nice. There we go. The the fire blew out. Wow. Oh, you, so we exploded the fire to death essentially. That's that's pretty awesome. I guess that would work in real life if you think about it. Mm. By the way, one thing that was weird that I noticed on my way back to this palace is that like I don't know if you remember, but at the end of the ice palace are like weapons, I think mine and Edge's uh, weapons were they were ice sabered by something I think some monster did that somehow or something. I don't remember, but that ice saber lasted all the way up, I'm not even kidding, until like the screen before the fire palace here, it, like I don't know if it's supposed to last that long, it must be on a high level attack or something but uh, it was pretty crazy how long it actually lasted and allowed me to bypass quite a few enemies by just frostying them, so it was kind of convenient. I'm tired of these guys. I just want to keep exploring, man. Oh, fro- <laughs> Damn it, this is just a shortcut back, isn't it? Okay, I'll meet you guys back up there. Alright, we're back up to this level. That kind of, that ramp down there, that, that took me for a surprise. That kind of reminds me of that thing in uh, Mario 64 that no one uses in the basement. There's that one weird, like, one-way ramp. It's in Hazy Maze Cave, too, I think. Okay, uh, anything this way that I can get? Sydney's over there getting engulfed, so... I probably should do something about that, but... Alright, let's just see what's over here, though. Oh, whole heap of nothing. Mm. Oh, you know what I just remembered is that I've actually... When I was working my way back up to the Ice Palace for, like, two episodes ago or something, after I lost the recording, I actually found, like, a room with a treasure in it that I wanted to go back to, but I never thought to. Might have to go back and check that out. For all I know, it's an orb or something that I missed out on, but... We'll see. Dude, these guys suck. Oh my god. Give me that mimic chest. Let's see. Uh, chocolate won't fit. Damn it, I hate it when that happens. How you can only hold four of each item. That's kind of stinky. Kind of stanky. Alright, oh my god, Edge is going nuts over there. Uh, let's just solve that. There we go. Mm, I, I assume that this is probably going to be Salamando's magic too, but... Just to be sure. Let's see. Oh, sweet. Sylphid reached level 1. Wow. Oh, that took a little while to happen. Alright, I'm going to need to refill Edge's MP. Oh my god, I only have one thing. One fairy walnut. So that's that. I have to be pretty conservative in my magic now, I guess. Um, let's see here. Exploder worked before, so I assume that's what I have to use here, too. It's the only way, man. Really? Oh my god. It's... Okay, I'll just fireball, I guess. 
wasted 4 MP on that. What was that, man? They fooled me. They totally misled me there. It's not fair. Ugh. I don't know, I guess it just depends on what the situation is. Like, if you have to blow out flames, then obviously you're going to use an explosion to generate the shockwave or whatever. But if you're using fire to make a bridge, well, that makes perfect sense, too, so... There you go. And I reached level 28, sweet. Uh, that's probably just an alternate way to go or something, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> right now, I'm just going to keep climbing higher and higher in this tower, I guess. You know, higher and higher, climbing your way through enemy fire. I don't cast silence on him. What are you doing? Silence, LA Funk. I am your master now. I don't need to deal with him, though. Those funks don't really seem to do much of anything, actually. Uh, is this some way to go? Whoa, this looks really strange. It just kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Plinko or something. <laughs> Almost. It's like half a Plinko, half a mini Plinko board or something. I don't know if that's just my crazy imagination thinking that up, though. Oh, someone leveled up there. Sounded like it anyways. Yeah, level 28, Sydney. Sweet! What do we got here in this glorious shrine? Axes orb sweetness. Is that like a sun? A stained glass window of the sun or something? Whatever it is, I want it, man. Put it up in my house for show. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, so... Uh, well, I guess that was just sort of a little secret bonus area. So there must be some other way to go here. Instead, yeah, look, we can just go up here. Or can we? Can't quite reach that. I guess I have to go back around. Man, this really is labyrinthine. <laughs> I've been spending all this time talking about how, like, I keep thinking things are more complex than they are. Like, the paths are more... Like, there's more diverging paths here. And then when I finally come to the, to like, realization that, well, everything's pretty much straightforward in this game, more or less, now they start throwing labyrinthine things at me. Apparently it was good to go this way. Fa a thousand GP, oh my god. <laughs> I almost feel kind of bad about taking that. That might have been, like, his storage, like, you know, like, grandma's storage. Saving it for a rainy day or something. Okay. Can I... Maybe I just go keep going down here? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know why I didn't think to do that in the first place. Oh my god. God, there are so many ways to go. I'm going to miss so much crap around here. Hopefully I don't miss any orbs or anything, though. I found one so far, so that's good. <laughs> god, these guys make... They really make me want to watch Pinky and the Brain again, these mad mallards. It's like... Because he, he looks like exactly like the Brain to me. I don't know why. Okay, I can't go down that staircase, I guess. But I can go down here. All these areas look so... They're, like, so vastly different. It's really cool. But it's all... It sort of seems like it should be... Like, this palace should be symmetrical, almost. But it's not really. I mean, it sort of is in some ways. Man, 414. Crap. And I had to reach level 28 there, too. Uh, that's pretty good, because I was kind of worried about his health for a little while there. It was below 100. Only slightly below, below 100, so I didn't want to say anything, though, to appear all warp, like a worry wart or anything. <laughs> like a worry. <laughs> who, who uses that word anymore in all genuineness? Like, worry wart? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that's the funniest word, too. Oh, my God. It's like, hey, you're a worry wart. Like, why don't you just call me a scared pimple or like, <laughs> is there a difference? Oh, God. I guess it's just the alliteration effect, but still. Man, this place extends, like, forever. Why is there, like, half a staircase there? That's really strange. Uh, I don't want to be casting magic haphazardly. Need to conserve it, like I said. So, are they, like, stuck in the corners over there? Is that why I can't move? Or Am I, like, on top of a bridge up here? That was happening. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> didn't even realize. I don't even realize half the time when I'm in that stupid uh stuff, the engulfed thing. There we go. Yeah, I think I am on top of a bridge. That's why I can't really do anything up here. I guess I don't know why they can still hit me from that far. Oh, there's a switch here. Well, this has got to do something productive, right? Unless it's like uh, an undo switch to undo something if you screw it up. I'm just going to press it and hope for the best. Okay, not sure what that did. 
can never be too sure when you can't actually see on the screen what the switch does. Let's see. Oh wait, this is the other side of that one room, like way early on that I found, like what, like way before I even went to the ice palace or anything. That's the other side of that room. Okay, so we went through all that crap just to <laughs> reach the other side of there. Couldn't we have just hopped the wall, man? Okay, well I can't do anything there. Those guys are on top of the bridge. I take it. I can't go past this bridge. Okay, I must be doing. Oh, there's a whip thing there. Duh. <laughs> just with all the like chaos going on on the screen, it's hard to notice the small things like that sometimes. There we go. I was about to head back too. That would have been really stupid. Uh. Got so many freaking weapons. I don't know how many more weapons we're going to get throughout this game. But, uh, <laughs> we're going to fill up on space in that circle there pretty soon. I don't know, I don't know if you even really can fill up in space on, that, on t that type of circle, though. There we go. Oh man, he just did like a little blowy thing. Like three little balls on nothing. Okay, we made it to this middle staircase. I assume this is kind of where I want to be because it was really hard to get to there. Oh, that lit up the nice place nicely. Ooh, a crystal. Okay, I don't, I don't want to cast the wrong magic on this. Like, for all I know, this I'd assume the way that they're leading me, this would be lava wave, but I'm really scared to take that risk. Don't cast Sylphid. I was thinking I was on Sydney's magic grid. Uh, just to be sure that it's still Salamando. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Undyne's magic org. Okay. See, that's good that I know that now. Oh, alright. Um. Well, I assume that is just freeze then. Hope for the best, because I don't have much magic left. There we go. What did that do exactly? Is this a puzzle that I have to solve somehow? What the hell? Okay, why are these two tor- What? I don't know what I did, but I think I solved it. I just like touched the corner of that. I, maybe it was just a waiting game or something. I just had to wait for the mechanisms to go all out. Uh oh. Yeah, figures we have a boss at this point. Oh, hello, you Minotaur man. Uh, I don't have much magic left, but what little I do, I want to make sure make sure that's his weakness that I use. So, what was his name? I didn't even see. Didn't pay attention long enough. Earth slide level seven. Holy shit! Twelve hundred HP. Not, okay. Fear Sylphid, okay, good. So I guess we're gonna get in one good air blast, and that's gonna be it for the magic we can use here. Is that was his name Minotaurus or something? That's funny. It reminds me of like Shadow of the Colossus, like there's a few there's like I think it's the first Colossus actually Valus, who has the subtitle of Minotaur. Which is kinda funny. Okay, uh we're gonna have to heal Sydney up there pretty quick. I'm not sure. Do I have any Cups of wish? I have like three Cups of Wishes, so I should be not too bad, but... Dude, he just slant. Oh my god, you asshole. Let go of her. Get away from her. Stay away from the summoner. Maybe Sydney has some good, like, magic that I can use here. Uh, Sil well, Sylphid, I don't think I'll really do much. Balloon. Let's try Balloon on him, sure. Oh, his name is... He's just Minotaur, okay. Anything that I can do to help me with this guy, because Minotaurs are probably known to be pretty fierce. And I don't have jack shit for magic, like I said before, so I don't know why I'm saying it again. And he's using Defender, of course. Is he, like, blocking my attacks every time? That's stupid. You can't block them every single time, man. Alright, Sydney, what do we got here? Uh, there's a Balloon again. What, what other types of things can I use here? This is all, like, healing stuff for me, right? Yeah. I haven't really used much of this supporting magic yet, so... Uh, I know that Fire Bouquet can be used as sort of an offensive spell. I think I'm gonna try it, actually. I think it also sort of freezes him for a minute. Uh, well, she didn't actually cast it there, because I don't know what happened. Oh, God, he's red now? That can't be good. Attack down. Okay, that's actually very helpful until it wears off anyways. Dude, don't run away. I like this huge plane that we get to fight him on. That's kind of cool. Just something really epic about that. Like some, like yeah, there's some, there's something epic to be said if it's like a ruined place, you know, like Cenobia's place in Shadow of the Colossus. Can you tell what game I've been playing lately? <laughs> Jeez. But uh, 
Like, yeah, if it's like a ruins type city area with lots of like obstacles and crazy stuff going on when you're battling. But then there's also another sort of different type of epicness associated with like just the flat, barren nothingness, you know? That earth slide is devastating though. I really should be paying attention to the battle here, I guess. I can't I can't do anything when Argon's unconscious. Can't even like open their menus, and now I'm dead. So <laughs> there you go. Didn't even give me a shot there. Alright, Sydney, you're gonna have to do some quick magic here. Except actually not really magic. But... I don't know, reviving someone is pretty magical, I guess. Oh, damn it, I ran right in front of that. Alright, switch back to Argon. Oh, that's what I should do when I like go unconscious and can't do anything. I should just switch characters. Didn't even think about that really. Um, yeah. Can you actually use like a chocolate item on two different people? I never really tried it. I assume it wouldn't work. Okay, how much magic does say eleven? Uh, I'm gonna use chocolate on Edge instead. I just want to conserve that magic as much as possible because we can actually heal all of us with it at the same time. You need to stop knocking people out, bro. Look at that stupid charge, you freaking... Are you are you a minotaur or a unicorn? What are you doing? Look at those long horns. Oh, there he goes. He's done. Man, he... I thought he had like 1,200 HP. That didn't seem like it took that long. Maybe that one good sylphid blast got him good. Pretty sure that only did 120 damage or so, though. Regardless, regardless of how we got here alive, we got here. We beat him. Way to go. And what orb do we get for this? Javelin's orb, sweet! Don't really use the javelin too much, I might wanna switch weapons pretty soon, because these three might get kinda stale to be watching. Oh yes, the seed's on stage, hold up the sword! Alright, let's do it! We got the fire seed here, it's all set. Time to imbue it with our power. So what, is this four seeds now? I think that's four seeds. Sweet. So that's four seeds that we have, like the, like the Empire. I think the Empire's after the seeds. I think that's the story here. It's kind of like the Needles in Mother 3, almost. And uh, I guess that's it. So now do we have to actually work our way out of the Fire Palace, or is something crazy going to happen that just lets us leave? Well, actually, I could probably just use the escape rope, right? Cannot use the magic rope here. I hate you. Okay, maybe, maybe once I'm like back in the dungeon itself, like once this... Very soothing music goes away. Nothing around here. I like this room. Reminds me of the one of the trial rooms in Mario RPG. Uh, well, I I guess there's just no monsters anymore here. That's what it looks like. I wonder if I can take that uh, room back there. There's a shortcut now. The one with that had like the blob on one side and it was walled off. I don't know if that wall is open now. I guess we're gonna find out though. Because I'm not even sure where to go at this point, because this is all the direction we've had, is up to the Fire Palace. And now that we've done the Fire Palace, uh, what's next on our agenda? Okay, yeah, we can do this, right? Um, get down, we can't get down from here somehow, are you? Crap. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try and work my way out and probably cut around or something. Just in case I find anything. But, uh, other than that, I'm just gonna cut back to the entrance. Okay, apparently I can use the magic rope once I'm like at a certain point in the dungeon. I didn't realize that, so I might not I might not cut anything at all. Of course there'll be like about ten seconds of awkward silence if I don't. We'll see. I assume it's just after like you're out of the boss area that you can start using that frickin' thing again. That magic rope. Either way, man, this music ex the reach of this palace, like the freeing of the palace from magic or whatever. Seems to extend pretty far out until even this castle courtyard. There we go. Okay, well, I guess, um... I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the village, I suppose. That's just about all I can do right now. And, uh... I guess I'll save up. And we'll probably call it an episode unless something crazy happens in between. Totally setting up for that, I know. Okay, that's not the way to go. I gotta go north from here, I think. Northward. Northward to resplendent glory. Mm. Resplendent glory is an awesome, like, phrase. I should use that more. Not like a catchphrase, I mean, just like a, like, 
combination of words or whatever. How about this king? Does he say anything now? The supposed king? You've brought back the fire seat, thanks! But our water still hasn't returned. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to figure that one out later. Or next. I assume that's what's next. Sydney, get around the tree. There's a lot of space there, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it and call her a night. Mm -hmm. Thanks everyone for watching uh, this episode of Secret of Man Blind. Uh, if I missed anything, feel free to tell me as always. And next time we'll figure out what we gotta do and where we gotta go next. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.